Well, here we are again, as the summer comes to an end. We still have injustices in the family court system across this country. Here in New York City, judges use various laws to deny people their rights to their children and attorneys in the same conspiracy to separate families. Yes, they actually do that. Believe it or not, for those that don't know, it actually happens. Not all attorneys, but a lot of them. And not all judges, but a lot of them. Just want to say that I appreciate a longtime fighter for shared parenting and justice in the courts, uh, Dr. Monty Weinstein. He has over 50 years in the fight for justice and shared parenting. You can, in fact, buy his book, From the Mob to the Therapist Chair. Very interesting goes through a lot of details of what goes on in these family court houses. Hmm. For those that don't know, the book will enlighten them of a lot of different things about the system, the atrocities in the court system. I've been fighting and advocating for maybe about 20 years or so. Who's counting? The problem is not the illegal practices that they have, but the lack of people's knowledge of how bad the system can be and is in some cases. Children are still being separated, drugged, abused, molested, and even dying while allegedly being protected. Yeah, it still goes on. As the court system and child protective uh, agencies across this country and all around the world continue to waste our tax dollars Destroying families, destroying lives, destroying people, destroying careers. It's, it's sad. Very, very sad. Very few people in power even talk about this. The people in power are the ones that give them the power to do what they do to us to destroy us. And we the people must stop believing in the enemy. <laughs> and even recognize who the enemy is. I have personally been through the whole family court process many times for various issues, and it's not a joke, no joke at all. It can really destroy you in some way, shape, or form. A lot of people ask how successful I was, and I tell them it's not about being successful. It's about keeping your family together, and on top of that, keeping your sanity. There are a lot of other issues going on like child support, foster care, and that'll probably be in other shows that I plan to do. But I can also go into deep details about all those different areas of what goes on in the family court system with judges and attorneys and law guardians and foster care and child support payments and all that stuff. Well, I'm going to end this with the fact that our elected officials should be concerned about the people that put them into office instead of wasting time and money of people coming across our borders. We should come first and should be first, and they should do the right thing for the people that pay their bills, that pay their salary, that pay their pension. I think that's a very um, outlandish act of misrepresentation. But until the next time, I'm Sonny B. Sutherland Sr. of the People's Advocacy Group, spreading the word. Peace.